Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing the CAG. I didn't get the drop in CAG this morning pretty much because I, I could never have gotten it. It really wasn't anywhere gapping. Uh, I'll show you the pre-market here. It had absolutely no one in it, but it opened into a gap, which is unusual, which is rare, but it does happen every once in a while. So it opened at 34.11, and yesterday it closed at 34.22. Not a big gap, but it's fine. It had a steep drop. In fact, let's just look at the actual drop since the morning. 34.10, it dropped a buck. So it dropped a buck very quick, very fast, very swiftly. And I decided to do a late trade in this. I also did an ad in this too. Set stop now is 75. Uh, it's late here. It's almost 1 o'clock. And I do believe the target on this is low of the day and 33 and possibly 32.90. This is really not rallying. So it had, a, it had a pushback. At the same time, the market was rallying here too. And now it's kind of leveled out. It's waiting for this to squish down. I believe it could take approximately up until even 2 o'clock for this to, to go. Um, I don't really know what time this is going to do the breakdown. It's still got three hours left on the day, but really the time of the day I want to see is 2 o'clock. This either should start selling off at 2 o'clock or it'll be into the close. I like the weakness. It's fine. I haven't changed the stop. Um, we'll see where this goes. So let's look at the 30 minute really quickly. This has a decent target in it though. Actually, I didn't even notice this. Look, it did trigger in the 30 minute. That's a good sign. Let's look at the 60. And it's triggered on the 60. Yeah, this looks good. The only thing wrong with this is it's taking a while, but it was a late entry. So late entry, late ad, you know, chose to do a late trade today. And let's take a look at the market here really quick. So the market's red. Will we recover from this today? Not likely. Not likely. It'll be really interesting to see where we actually gap tomorrow morning. We should have followed through, I think, in the gap up today. But again, summer volume, low volume. The only way we move up is buyers, and they just didn't come in today. We probably would have been better if we had gapped up more. Looking at this here now, when we immediately started to sell off, that was the end of it. So I don't know where we get tomorrow morning. I don't know exactly what we do. But CAG here for today looks good. I want a full... Full, I want a real break through 50, which really hasn't happened yet. Once that happens, it should just fall. So one penny doesn't count. I just wanted to collapse through the number of 33.50, and then it should not look back for the rest of the day. So we'll see where we go in cab, a uh, cag, <laughs> cab. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking a cab today. <laughs> Clearly, cabs, cabbies, cag. Um, good luck, everyone that's in this. If you have any questions, email me at melissa.thestockswoosh.com.